Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we have a really large sale. I know I sometimes say that and exaggerate it, but this sale is just huge. This is for the family, it's for the Buchanan family who started Buchanan's grocery store and is down on the south side in a compound of houses that everybody's always been really curious about. So this is a monstrous sale and I'm gonna take you on a tour. There might be more than one video, but we're gonna start in the formal living. We've got a nice little chandelier, a little school type desk, a pair of these little red uh, club chairs. This is an oil painting. It's a painting and lots of there's lots of greenery. We have a folding mirrored screen, plus some candles and decorator accessories. This is one of I think three or four huge china cabinets or dis or curio cabinets. This one's going to have probably our better stuff in it, so this one's going to be locked. So if you're looking for good collectibles, that's where you want to go. We've got a pair of these little uh, club chairs and some little pictures. And some more greenery, mirrors, and pictures. We're going to go into the entryway, and we're selling the solid oak desk and all of these decorator accessories. There is an insane amount of little tchotchkes and little miscellaneous items. We're also selling this really nice mirror. It is all mirrored. The frame is also mirrored and it has little gold leaf accents and details. And over here we've got a little file cabinet poking out. And we're going to go into the master bedroom. We were selling this fabric headboard. We've got two meat jackets. This is one of them. And this is the second meat jacket. We've got a pair of bunk beds. And this pair of bunk beds matches some bedroom furniture I'm going to show you in just a second. And this cute little roll top desk with a little matching chair. And it's kind of a reverse painted lamp. We have tons of stuff in the master bedroom including some of those gold Germany uh, vanity accessories and this is some of the costume jewelry and over here we have a king size or sorry queen size headboard with this little chest that's painted with a nice little mirror that's etched we have the matching uh, nightstands, pair of nightstands and dresser that match that queen size headboard. Over here this is the set that matches the bunk beds. It's a the solid oak, this reproduction of Victorian furniture. So we have the Victorian tall chest. We also have the bookcase on the chest and also the little nightstand. We've got lots of these crystal lamps. Some of them are Waterford. And we have some more costume jewelry. and three huge closets full of clothes. And now we're going to go into the living room. And in the living room we have a recliner literally built for two. It's like an extra extra wide recliner. And she uh, did lots and lots of hand painting on china. So we literally have hundreds of hand-painted china pieces. We, I mean, it's just absolutely everywhere. We also have a piece of hull. Uh, there's pretty much collectibles from almost every single collectible category. This nice little plaid wingback chair. We have some collectible clocks. We've got cloisonne. We've got these pair of cloisonne pots. We've got tons of greenery. Uh, like I said, an insane amount of hand-painted items. We have RS Prussia. We have items from Nippon. Um, we've got records. We have a large teapot collection and a lots of Fitz and Floyd uh, collection. We have books. And over here we have records. And this is some of the some of the cooler collectibles. We've got Batman puzzles, Batman and Robin puzzles, still in the little original shrink wrap. We have the sofa we're selling and some Boyd's Bears. We've got this oak coffee table. This is another huge curio cabinet with the side entrance on the doors. We've got Linux, 
um, lots more hand painted china, uh, lots of little collectible, collectible thing, and fits and Floyd. We have a Kimball console piano, and if you like to scrap brass, we have an insane amount of brass to sell. We have lots of music books. Over here we have a Waterford lamp and this little pink rocker, another oak table. And we have this entertainment center and it is full of precious moments. I mean just dozens of precious moments figurines. We have some snow babies. Then in this china cabinet, I'll kind of try to pan back so you can see it. In this china cabinet we have two huge sets that are Nippon. We also have some Bavarian china. Uh, pretty much everything from pretty much anywhere we've got. Like I said, more Fitz and Floyd. Lots of carnival glass. Then in the center island, we've got pretty much more hand painted china, some Shannon crystal. We have this mercury gilt clock that's really interesting. And now we're going to go out into the kitchen area. Okay, first, I think I'm going to take you on a tour of the pool. Okay, we've got this enormous pool room. So everything you see out here except for the pool table we're selling. We've got some smoker, a grill, a ton of vintage patio furniture. If, as you can kind of see all the way to the back of the room we have lots and lots of little gardening pots. We're selling all the patio furniture that you see. Um, the tables, even if you can't see it, we've got several sets of china. We also have a vintage train set, uh, lots of little miscellaneous toys. The, some of the stuff's covered because it was raining and the roof leaks in this room so we have to kind of keep everything covered in case it rains again. But we've got, these were collectible, I think this was from when they had the grocery store, these were promotional items. And we have some Flow Blue, tons of collector's plates, like I said, several sets of china. I mean, it's really kind of amazing how much stuff is here. In the formal dining room, we've got this really cool hand-painted chest. It's kind of a Dutch design with lots of crystal. We also, if you have a booth, this would be a phenomenal little towered curio cabinet. It's uh, got glass all the way around it and it would be easy to lock. So if you have an antique booth, this would be the showcase for you. We've got some Department 50 store, <laughs> Department 56 items and lots of little Christmas village. We've got pretty much, I mean, you name it. We've got satin glass, we have shades, silver plate. We've got gun with wind lamps, gun with wind lamp shades. This little bar is American by Martinsville. And we have more carnival glass. Lots of other uh, 60s, 70s color glass. There's Fenton, there's Moon and Stars. This is a piece of by Heritage, which you know, later became Drexel Heritage. It's a nice little uh, cabinet that could be repainted and resold if you if you have an antique booth. And lots of little, lots of great little decorator lamps. And sorry about it being kind of dark. We have lots of windows and not a lot of lights, so it gets kind of dark in here. This is also American by Martinsville, and it's one of the china cabinets. And like I said, we have lots of carnival glass, lots of Nippon, lots of little uh, collector items. We've got this huge tea set with the, with the hot water tank on it. And all of this Francoma. And kind of last but not least in the room is the dining room table, and we have a 9 by 12 hand sculpted rug with this kind of country French um, dining room table and six chairs and just a ton more china as you can kind of tell. Now I'm going to go into the breakfast room and this little cabinet is Thomasville so it's a cute little Thomasville end table and we're selling everything you see. We're selling this little breakfast room table with six chairs. 
we have a really vintage KitchenAid mixer. Uh, this is the oldest one I've ever seen. And we've got all these little collectibles, lots of cloisonne, uh, RS pressure, as I've said before. And we've also got this clock. And this is a grandfather clock. All right, I am going to stop the video there. There's going to be a second video showing the other half of the house, as if this house, half of the house wasn't enough. Uh, be sure to look for the second video.